Hey guys, it's Leverto one here, and I got another request to terraform a planet. So here we're going to, so the first one we did was Mars. We also looked at climate change on Earth a bit. So I think the logical step would be to go to Venus. I mean, this place could use a little, 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 a lot of bit of terraforming. So, okay, why is this displayed in moons and not Earth's? Alright, well, this guess that's just another quirk of Universe Sandbox. I need to hear the music. You know, I have a real, real problem with music, because often I get too little or too much of it, and that really ticks me off. So, what we're going to do right now is, first off, the first colonies would probably be in the clouds, because the pressure would be too harsh down there, but maybe if you could get a colony to float up on the clouds, it would be fine. But, uh, I... My idea of what could happen is you try to suck off the, some of the atmosphere by sending an asteroid real close to Venus, fling it off into who knows where, and that would suck off a bit of the atmosphere. And so, it might not be much, but if you did it enough, then it could maybe reduce the atmosphere a bit. So, let's see, what... Where would we do that? Uh, surface temperature materials, I think. Where's the atmosphere thing? Why can't I find the atmosphere thing? That's annoying. Ah, uh, here we go. Temperature. Uh, atmosphere mass. So, let's just say we reduce that by flinging asteroids around it. So... Just slowly lower this down because uh, Earth is at in the magnitude of 18 and Venus is at 20, which means Venus something like a hundred times more of an atmosphere than Earth. So we're gonna reduce it down to an uh, an atmosphere slightly less than that of Earth's. That would be the goal of this colony. So there we go. So that should lower the temperature. Yep, see? Temperature is plummeting because Venus cannot hold on to that much of an atmosphere. So, my only worry is that the albedo, which is caused by the atmosphere, would be a little too much. But for Venus, if we got rid of more of the atmosphere, that would probably reduce the albedo a bit. I think. Of course, that just makes it decrease in temperature faster. So the next problem with Venus is the days are too slow. So that would be a real problem for a colony. So what I think would be a cool idea, because I honestly have no idea how this would be practical, but what if you attached rocket boosters to Venus all over it and that like here and here and here and here and and you had those blow simultaneously in in the same direction so the so the rotational speed would become a lot quicker maybe if the ideally that honestly that'd probably cost a ton and tons of money. So and let's just say it brought it down to around four, three, two one one day. Yeah, it's just about that. Okay, there we go. So, so now the materials. Um, let's see. So, as you can see, it's becoming a lot closer to what Earth might be, what Earth is sort of like. So let's see. Show atmosphere. Show clouds. Okay, right, so this is what Venus looks like here. What the heck is that? I don't know. Yeah, this is what Venus looks like on the surface, sort of. So, 
as the temperature goes down it would go down very rapidly so I'm still not really clear what albedo is it's something about the re reflectivity so Venus's reflectivity would probably go down as I mentioned earlier so huh hey earthy buddy so yeah but eventually we'd get to a point well let's speed this up we get to a point eventually where where the temperature would reduce to maybe 20 degrees but then it start writhing what wait what why would that happen all right let's just say somehow scientists managed to balance this Honestly, I think, let's see, let's 0 0.75, there we go. Seven, okay, so now we've stabilized this, I think, or maybe not. This is definitely not stabilized. So one other thing that would probably need to be done is change the obliquity because this is crazy. Let's see, if we could make it around, well, according to Universe Sandbox, it's practically upside down, but uh, if we could give it an angle of like 25 degrees, then that might give it, give it stable seasons. Okay, how, which there's like an auto balance thing for like universe sandbox where you can make what if we reduce the atmosphere's mass okay yeah but we might have reached stability or maybe we also might have not let's also put water on the ocean on the surface yeah there we go Venus is now covered in water yeesh Let's see. Let's see. This is still annoying me. It's really annoying me how Universe Sandbox refuses to let stuff work. And. Okay, why is there this much difference between 0 0.74 and 0 0.75? You know. 0 0.74 or point f 5 how's that what the heck Two five. how's that this makes no sense to me honestly 7 4 or seven five how's that Ugh. honestly universe sandbox needs an auto balance feature where it balances the climate so the temperature will remain in a stable cycle of course this is universe sandbox so that it doesn't it doesn't do that sigh sigh well I guess the According to Universe Sandbox, a colony on Venus built by Leverdo One is pretty much impossible. But it would be cool if it were possible. But sadly, it's not. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more. I'm sorry that I do not post as often during the school year, but it's school. I can't say anything else. Uh, well, Leverto1 signing out.